The Pilatus PC-12 features a complete thrust management system, including an auto throttle and a thrust director. When the auto throttle is active, motorized servos automatically position the thrust lever to maintain the desired speed or power setting. The current auto throttle status and mode are displayed on the PFD. For the purposes of this video, thrust, power, and torque will be used interchangeably. The auto throttle uses one of two primary modes, thrust mode and speed mode. In thrust mode, the auto throttle sets the desired power setting. The auto throttle respects the engine torque bugs for the phase of flight to prevent over torquing the engine. In speed mode, the auto throttle uses variable power settings to achieve and maintain a given speed. This speed can be manually set by the pilot or generated by the FMS. The FMS uses pre-calculated speeds depending on the phase of flight. For more information, refer to the video on FMS speed schedule on the Pilatus PC-12. The link is in the description below. The auto throttle system can be armed on the ground by pushing the AT button on the guidance panel. The green light above the button won't turn on because the system is not yet engaged. However, the Cyan AT on the PFD indicates that the auto throttle is armed. During takeoff, when the power lever is advanced about halfway, the auto throttle becomes active and the power lever will be automatically set to takeoff power. During a takeoff from 60 knots to 400 feet AGL, the auto throttle is in thrust hold mode and the servos are de energized. The pilot, however, can always make a manual thrust reduction at any time. After takeoff, select the vertical mode to be used for the climb. If flight level change is selected, the flight director will pitch to maintain VY until the flaps are retracted. The auto throttle mode changes with the selected vertical modes of the flight guidance system. If the pilot chooses to climb in flight level change or VFLC mode, the auto throttle will stay in thrust mode. The FMS manual select knob controls the climb speed in flight level change. When set to FMS, the aircraft will fly the pre-calculated FMS speed schedule. For more information regarding the FMS speed schedule, refer to the video FMS speeds on the Pilatus PC-12. For climbs with large altitude changes, the thrust will typically be set to the max climb position. If the knob is set to manual, the speed bug is displayed on the airspeed tape and the pilot can manually set the speed that the auto throttle will target. In this case, since we are in a climb, the auto throttle enunciator indicates thrust mode and the auto throttle will set climb thrust as the aircraft pitches for the selected speed. When the aircraft is in level flight or vertical speed mode, the airspeed hold mode is active. In this mode, the auto throttle sets thrust to maintain the selected speed reference and the auto throttle enunciator will display AT speed. In this example, the pilot wants to climb at a vertical speed of 3,500 feet per minute. With vertical speed mode selected, the auto throttle changes to speed mode and adjusts the thrust to maintain a given airspeed, while the flight director adjusts pitch to maintain the requested vertical speed. If the auto throttle can't maintain the selected speed at any time, AT limit is displayed. In this case, at a vertical speed of 3,500 feet per minute, the aircraft cannot maintain the selected airspeed, so AT limit is displayed. To disengage the auto throttle at any time, press the auto throttle button or push the auto throttle disconnect button on the thrust lever. Pushing the quick disconnect button on either yoke will also disconnect the auto throttle, as well as the autopilot and yaw damper. The auto throttle will also disconnect if the pilot significantly overrides the commanded throttle position. The auto throttle enunciator will flash an amber, and an aural warning will sound to alert the crew that the auto throttle has been disconnected. Auto throttle. Auto throttle. The auto throttle also disengages on approach below 50 feet on the radar altimeter or with weight on wheels. To re engage the auto throttle during flight, Simply press the auto throttle button on the flight controller 
and verify the auto throttle annunciator is displayed on the PFD in green. The Pilatus PC-12 features a thrust director, which provides valuable thrust information to the pilot, even when the auto throttle is disconnected. Just as a flight director provides aircraft pitch and roll guidance to maintain the desired flight path, the thrust director guides thrust lever position to maintain the desired speed. It is displayed regardless of auto throttle engagement and is especially useful when the auto throttle is disengaged. The thrust director is made up of two symbols, the magenta reference line and the green circle. The magenta reference line is the torque target bug, which represents the calculated thrust setting to maintain the selected speed. The green circle is the torque command bug, which represents the actual thrust set with the thrust lever. If the thrust setting is higher than required for the desired speed, the circle will be displayed above the magenta line. And conversely, if the thrust setting is too low, the green circle is displayed below the magenta line. When the correct thrust is set, the green circle will overlay the magenta line. The Pilatus PC-12 Auto Throttle System has two additional modes to increase safety and reduce workload during critical phases of flight. The Emergency Descent Mode mitigates the risk of cabin depressurization. If a cabin depressurization is detected above 20,000 feet, the Automatic Flight Control System engages the Emergency Descent Mode, which automatically descends the aircraft to 15,000 feet. The Auto Throttle is automatically engaged. The Auto Throttle Annunciator displays ATEDM, and the Thrust Lever is brought to idle when the aircraft descends at MMO. The go-around auto throttle mode automatically sets maximum thrust during a go-around. If the auto throttle is armed during an approach and a go-around vertical mode is selected, the auto throttle will automatically set the thrust to the active upper torque takeoff rating. The thrust management system on the Pilatus PC-12 is a powerful tool that enhances pilot situational awareness and reduces workload, but it is vital that the pilot has a thorough understanding of the system and how it functions before using it.